So now that we got UFT open, some of you guys may be completely shocked. And I'll say I was because I was coming from QTP and we're used to that very boring, very ugly UI. And now you guys can see that UFT has made some dramatic changes with their UI. And I personally like it a lot. Now, don't be too shocked or scared. Most of the stuff here is the same. And most of the knowledge that you guys have with QTP will be transferred to UFT. In fact, I would say 95% can be transferred over. What UFT has done is they've made some UI changes. They've made some functionality upgrades, but everything else still seems to work as it should. And as you guys can see, at least I think that it looks a lot prettier, which is not always a bad thing. What is a bad thing is there are some still random crashings of UFT, which is kind of annoying because it's been going on for a long time. And I wish they would fix that before the UI. Anyways, so this is the start page of UFT. You guys can see here on the left side, we have what's called the solution explorer that allows us to open a new solution. Now that is a new concept in UFT. And basically what a solution is, it's like a project for all of your related files. So for example, if you were an UFT automation engineer working on qtptutorial.net, you would probably have a qtptutorial.net net solution. Just like see that he, down here, guys, in my recent solutions window, it shows you the recently opened solutions. I have QTP tutorial. And so if I open that up, it will contain all of my assets related to QTP tutorial to that project. It's actually a really cool feature and I love it a lot. We'll talk about it in a little bit more. The other thing to notice here, guys, is this toolbox. Now, there's nothing very helpful here, but this toolbox is very useful when we start coding and when we do API testing. Over here in this window, you guys can see the recent test components. So for example, this is a VBS file, so it's classified as a test component. If we used other, you know, TSR files or MTS files, they would be here located in the recent test components. And I already showed you guys the recent solutions are down here. Over here, it's a little small window that tells you about what's new in HTML. HP UFT 12. You guys can go ahead and read. You can click here, read through that. There's a support, there's links, community, and then this tells you that. You can all come over here and check option whether you want to display this or not in the beginning. I'll display it for now. And then over here on the right side is a properties window that we also use for API testing. And you don't see anything there right now. 